Hi, this is Kian. Once again, welcome to Prayer Line. Precious one, I want you to know that today is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I want to talk about um, how campaign's prediction of um, today, which is October 21st, according to our campaign, today was supposed to be the final judgment of God upon the earth, the rapture of the saint. He said that you no, know, there was going to be a um, fire to consume or destroy the whole earth. First of all, he predicted on May 21st to be the rapture. And when it didn't happen, he now predicted October 21st, which is today, that it was going to be the physical manifestation of the rapture and also the raining down of fire to destroy the whole earth. However, you know, today is almost over, the 21st of October 2011. Uh, we are in the same day and nothing has happened globally, which um, shows that his prediction is wrong and places him as a false teacher or a false prophet. So today we can um, safely close the chapter on how camping. And um, for you die hard her camping followers i don't know what else should convince you to know that this man has been deceiving you and has been predicting wrongfully the day of the lord because the bible makes us to understand jesus christ said that nobody knows the day nor the hour when he will be coming to rapture the saints nobody the bible says that let god be true and let all men be liars the bible says that we shouldn't add anything to the word of god not neither subtract so if anybody tries to predict or come up with predictions or hypothesis or speculation about the day and the time of the coming of jesus christ they are going to get it wrong anybody who dares try it you are going to get it wrong because according to the word of god he says that nobody knows the day nor the hour that jesus christ will be coming to rapture the saints so today we can close the chapter on our campaign. His um, May 21st um, spiritual rapture has come and gone. Today he said that today was going to be the manifestation of the physical uh, rapture and it was going to rain down fire. Fire was going to come to destroy the earth, but nothing happened. So today we can safely close the chapter. His prediction was falsehood and it is it has been a deception all along from May to now. I pray that those who have been sleeping and have been led astray will now open their eyes to begin to read the Bible and find out truth for themselves. However, even though we feel sorry for those who have been deceived, I feel sorry much more for Hal Campin himself. The man is almost 90 years now. Hal Campin is 90 years now. Imagine the number of years he has lived his life in deception. Imagine that all oh, he's lived all his life on this basic of this lie, and it is very, very, very uh, pathetic that somebody can live his life on this lie. And most of his doctrine are also the same old uh, errors. So imagine that if you and I do not take heed of the counsel of God, or we don't really digest or break down the Bible to really allow the Holy Spirit to give us understanding, we'll be living our entire life in lie. The man is 90 years old and his ministry, Family Radio, is one of the oldest uh, radio stations in the United States. One of the oldest. It started way back, some years back. Very old. He has been around for a long time and he has been holding on to this philosophy or this um, error or this errors for this many years. And he is about to die and he, he is dying with this error or this deception. This is how um, the devil can really deceive the masses that if you don't pray to God to open your eyes, you may die in your ignorance or you may die in deception or you may die holding on to wrong doctrine. This man, all his life, all his life, you, he was believing that he knew that God had spoken to him and God had given him specific date of his second return. He said the church age was over. He preached a lot of doctrines and one of it was that he said he knew the day or the hour that Jesus Christ was coming, May 21st. And when he predicted and it didn't happen, he now switched to October 21st and today is October 21st, 2011 and nothing else has happened. I feel sorry for him because 
he has led, led most of his life wasted by believing in a lie and also spreading lies to many, 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 many um, followers of her campaign. Uh, on May 21st, most of them uh, redrew their, uh, their money from the banks to invest it into family radio for, for advertisement. Most of them um, you know, closed, um, redrew, um, made their, their children stop schooling, you know, they sold their houses and all these things and realized that it didn't happen. Then he gave them another false hope and day to day marks october 21st and nothing has really happened please um we are living in the last days so there will be great deception however this is what i have to say um this proves to us that we can't follow man you have to read the bible for yourself and discover truth for yourself because if you follow a man if that man if the blind uh, if if you are following a blind leader and he goes wrong you also follow him and go go astray so discover the truth for yourself the bible says that the holy spirit is the teacher of every truth jesus christ says that even though he's going he's going to fill us with the holy spirit and the holy spirit will lead us into all truth in fact the holy spirit is the one who seals you onto the day of redemption you need the holy spirit to guide you into all truth the holy spirit will give you the gift called discernment for you to be able to distinguish between false teachers and true teachers false prophets and true prophets to be able to discern the tricks of the enemy so uh this time around every believer every child of god you need the spirit or the gift of discernment and you need to allow the holy spirit to be helping you to understand the times and seasons in which we find ourselves because this is just the beginning because more deceptions are on the way especially as we are about to make our exit from this year 2011 and make our entrance god willing into the year 2012 there is going to be a lot of deception to deceive the masses just as our campaign has deceived the masses however this is what i would like to tell you that this year marks a very significant year in the calendar of god this year is very significant because a lot of things has happened in the course of this year you know we've had our campaign predicting on october 21st then came his up the, the, first of all when it happened on may 21st that nothing happened he said it was a spiritual uh, rapture now the fiscal rapture was october 21st which is today nothing happened now we have people also deceiving the masses by coming up with things like hypothesis or prediction or speculation that there's this thing which was um um called comet elenin comet elenin was going to be uh, also another great event which was going to bring the end to the world because it was going to come into an alignment with the planet and the sun and it's going to cause earthquake and commotion and all these things when this uh, comet uh, then we realized that this comet elenin didn't do anything then people also predicted or speculated or brought came up with an hypothesis that there's something called the feast of the trumpet which they call the rosh Hana. it was going to be the day god was going to come in it didn't happen then they also talk about Yom kippur it didn't happen so every single day there is people are coming in with predictions speculation and hypothesis of the day jesus christ is coming for the church however i tell you the truth according to the bible nobody knows the day nor the hour so don't fall don't be deceived by anyone who comes to tell you that this is it or this is the day or this is the time nobody knows it don't be deceived otherwise you will be led astray just as many uh, thousands of people have been led astray by our campaign or led astray during the um, feast of the trumpet or comet elenin it, it you know these are the things which are going to be happening rapidly especially when the the, the 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 coming of jesus christ is very close because anytime um, they predict and it doesn't happen many people shut up uh, and shut their spirit up and they don't want to hear anything about the rapture however I, I would like to tell you that jesus christ is indeed coming very very soon that's why the devil is using these false predictions to deceive the masses so that a time is coming when people are not going to take the rapture seriously then it will come upon them like a thief in the night because they were not prepared they thought it was a joke they were not taking it seriously they were not preparing themselves spiritually for the um for for the appearance of jesus christ for the saints so please don't be deceived even though all these predictions are lies make sure that you are constantly living a holy life my philosophy about um 
preparing for this rapture is live every day of your life as though Jesus Christ is coming. Meaning that live your life holy. Live a holy life. Live your life based on um, reading the Bible, allowing the Holy Spirit to uh, give you understanding to the revelations in the Bible and uh, living your life to conform to the very image of Jesus Christ by allowing God himself through the Holy Spirit to transform your life. Do you understand? You have to pray that God himself will help you to manifest the fruit of the Spirit. Just like the fruit of the Spirit are laid out, um, which is love, joy, peace, patience, humility, self-control, kindness, goodness. No, all this fruit, you need it in your life to be able to exhibit and the fruit of the spirit or to be like jesus christ and you have to pray daily that god himself will take away every sin nature in your life every sexual immorality every impurity every idolatry every witchcraft every hatred every discord every jealousy every rage every selfish ambition every dissension every faction every enviness every drunkenness every orgies cowardly unbelieving abomination no murder sexual immorality sorcery all the things of the flesh that can lead you astray, you have to pray that God himself, through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, will deliver you from yourself and from the world. You have to pray that the blood of Jesus Christ will wash you, wash away your sins, and the power of the Holy Spirit will transform your life. So much that every single day of your life, every minute, every second, you are living your life prepared for the soon return of our Lord Jesus Christ. This year is very significant. Before I just came to um, do this video, I just uh, went online to check the number of earthquake which has happened just this year. The number of earthquake, and I realized that we have almost 63 earthquakes worldwide so far. We haven't reached even December, and we have more than 60 earthquakes, significant earthquakes happening globally, meaning that something is definitely happening. Also, you realize that there are a lot of changes going on all over the world. I believe that this year marks the beginning or the, the, the entering of us into the new world order or the new world system. I don't know. I strongly believe. I strongly believe that this year is the beginning of the uh, us being at the doorpost or entering into the new world system.